in a way was winning that round, and nothing crazy had happened until it did. Naoya Inoue has been smashing records since he was 16. With a powerful shot like that, trust me. And after almost 26 showdowns, with the double jab, and if you don't do it from the right distance, he has not met his equal. He showed speed, he showed power. Nowadays, the Japanese-born boxer has earned himself a reputation for his crazy timing, dizzying speed, and ferocious punch power, rising to the pinnacle of four different weight divisions. Boxing, but it didn't land with common power. Here we see Inouye throw a waist right uppercut that just paralyzed Des Marines. It's time to take a closer look at Kaibutsu. It's like Daenerys made up his mind he's gonna fight fire. What we call the monster at the peak of his power. With fire, and that's just the way it is, for better. Born on April 10th, 1993, the 30-year-old bantamweight champion showed signs of promise very early indeed. He won both the Japanese Junior National Championship and the Japanese Interscholastic Athletic Meeting in 2009. The Japanese prodigy was barely 17 when he won the Japanese Junior Selection Tournament and the bronze medal in the 2010 Asian Youth Championships in Tehran, Iran. He won the gold medal at the 21st President's Cup in Jakarta, Indonesia in July 2011. Later that year, he placed first in the Japanese Interscholastic Athletic Meeting. Inoue signed with Ohashi Boxing Gym to become a professional in 2012. He freely agreed to never compete against opponents that were easy to defeat with Hideyuki Ohashi. Trying to grab the ropes, backed up into the corner. On August 25th, 2013, Inoue defeated Ryoichi Taguchi the number three ranked fighter in the WBA and a future light flyweight champion of the WBA, IBF and Ring Magazine to win the Japanese championship. <laughs> While many considered this to be Inoue's most difficult test to date, he ultimately outclassed Taguchi over 10 rounds of sheer dominance that will leave Bruce Lee impressed. <laughs> He earned the right to his moniker, and now he is in contention for the light flyweight championship. Adrian Hernandez had an 8-1 to one record in world title fights prior to becoming a two-division champion and Inoue defeated Hernandez in his sixth professional fight to win the title of WBC Lightfly weight champion. In search of a worthy fur, Inoue had to move up to super flyweight. He gave up his light flyweight title in November 2014 in order to take on Omar Andres Narvaez, who has 23 KOs to his name, and the holder of the WBO Junior Bantamweight title. The match was set to take place on December 30th, 2014, but Narvaez is no rookie. After winning his first world championship in 2002, Narvaez has successfully defended his titles 27 times. Inui has a 7-0 record going into the match. Inui, the youthful challenger, however, stopped Narvaez in less than a minute of the opening exchange. He continued to repeatedly injure Narvaez with well-placed body shots. To win his second world title, Inoue stopped the reigning champion in the second round. The blow that knocked down Narvaez the first time injured Narvaez. Inoue declared in December 2017 that he would go up to bantamweight in the future and that he would try to unify championships against another junior bantamweight champion. The boxing sensation declared that he intended to advance to bantamweight and pursue a three-weight world championship there. In the era of three or four belts, he had established himself as the undisputed champion and was the first boxer in history 
to defeat the champions of all four main sanctioning organizations through knockout. On January 13, 2023, Inoue gave up all five of his belts to advance to super bantamweight. Inoue competed in the World Boxing Super Series final against Nonito Donaire, the four-weight world champion, with 40 professional victories on November 7, 2019, in Saitama, Japan. During the first few minutes of the showdown, Naoya Inoue slammed Donaire with punches that would make Mike Tyson proud. Come on, a monster. He beat him so easy. After an exciting battle, in which both fighters showed remarkable bravery and tenacity, Inoue won unanimously with scores of 116 to 111, 117 to 109, and 114 to 113. Donaire's left hook in the second round severely injured Inoue above his right eye, impairing his vision. However, Inoue battled back, putting Donaire in danger in the fifth round, before the bell saved him. But Donaire kept his cool and started to injure Inoue more in the second half of the fight when he connected with a huge right hand that left Inoue's face covered in blood. Ring Magazine voted the fight the fight of the year. Donaire and Inoue exchanged admiring words, with Inoue calling Donaire a true champion. Later, Inoue disclosed that he had suffered a broken nose as well as a fractured orbital bone in the second round, which had left him seeing double. And the Inoue fever swept across North America like wildfire. Soon, he had a challenger on a night in Vegas. On October 31st, however, Inoue fought Jason Molinay at the MGM Grand Conference Center in Las Vegas. The ring ranked Molinay at number six, the WBO at number one, the WBA at number two, and the IBF at number four. Inoue won via knockout in the seventh round. A fast counter left hook knocked Maloney out in the sixth round. That oh! shot right there. Down goes Maloney on a quick counter. A quick right hand sent Maloney down for the second time in the seventh. At 2.59 of the sixth round, referee Kenny Bayless stopped the fight because the fighter was unconscious and was attempting to stand up. Naoya Inoue has all it takes to become the world's greatest. Naoya, the monster Inoue! And he put his full power on display against Das Marinas. Bon appetit. On June 19, 2021, in Paradise, Nevada, Inoue squared up against Michael Dasmarinas, his mandatory opponent for the IBF. The IBF had Dasmarinas ranked number one, while the WBA had Inoue ranked number eight. He won via third round stoppage after scoring three knockdowns in three rounds. My oh my! Three body shot knockdown! All of which came from left hooks to Dasmarinas' body. After the match, Inoue declared his goal to become the bantamweight division's first undisputed champion, and once again, he would cross paths with his arch frenemy. On June 7, 2022, in the Saitama Super Arena in Saitama, Japan, Inoue made his fourth title defense as the undisputed bantamweight champion in a title unification match against the current WBC champion, Nonito Donaire. <laughs> The majority of bookmakers had Inoue as a 400 favorite to win the rematch when he started as the favorite. How long can Donaire hold on? How much more can his body take? Technical knockout in the second round gave Inoue the victories. Inoue knocked down Donaire at the close of the first round and again towards the beginning of the second, staggered him with a left hook before finishing him with a barrage of blows at 1.24 of the round. In boxing history, he became the first ever three belt champion from Japan. After this victory, the ring placed him as the best boxer in the division pound for pound, making him the first Japanese boxer to achieve that feat. So he had to move up again, this time to super bantamweight. It became known on January 18th, 2023, that Inoue had started talks with world champion Stephen Fulton, who is the unified super bantamweight. Fulton is bigger and can match Inoue's punch power with an aggressive fist that should make your stomach turn. What would Inoue do? By technical knockout in the eighth round, Inoue prevailed in the match, 
After using a left hook to first knock Fulton down, he quickly got the referee, Hector Afu, to stop the fight with a barrage of unanswered shots. By then, Inoue had outlanded his opponent in total punch count, 114 to 47, and power punch count, 70 to 24. After Kazuto Ioka, he became the second Japanese fighter in history to win major titles in four different weight classes. The unified WBA Super and IBF Super Bantamweight champions Marlon Tapales and Inoue were reportedly in talks for an undisputed title fight on August 21st, 2023. The bout happened on December 26, 2023, at Tokyo, Japan's Ariake Arena. Just a year after completely unifying the bantamweight class, Inoue emerged victorious in the 10th round via knockout. Hands up like that. Inoue would throw a shot and then hook. Ooh. Securing his title as the undisputed champion of two divisions. Tipalis was floored once in the fourth round. Left hand. And once more in the 10th, the second knockdown, preventing him from getting back up in time to avoid being counted out. This was Inoue's 19th recorded KO in 21 world title fights, bringing his KO rate to 90.4%, which is the highest KO rate in the history of world title matches. No wonder he was named Fighter of the Year in 2023. If you loved this video, smash one liver punch on the like button and check out what happens to fighters that get cocky.